Yeah, you know these should be illegal because the onions are on top. Quick disclaimer for anyone that doesn't live in Australia. Bunnings is a large hardware store. They have these sausage chisels out the front on weekends to help community groups get a little bit of money to keep them going. Hi, I'm Shuey and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect bunning snag. Warning, there will be cooked onion hazards involved. Like me, you might be asked to help out at your kids' fundraising ideas and the good old bunning sausage chisel is one of them. Don't stress though, I'm gonna show you how to properly prepare yourself for this monumental occasion. So sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. So let's start with the snags. Now, unlike when you're at home and you wanna cook some sort of gourmet sort of flavored snag, like a herb and chicken or a jalapeno and cheese or even the good old beef and onion. Not this time around, you're going to be instructed to go to Tasman Meats or your local wholesale butcher and buy big trays of barbecue snags. Now onto the bread. Coles or Woolworths white sandwich slice is the way to go. The toast cut, although more stable once that grease and sauce hits it, it makes for an unbalanced meat to bread ratio. And we aren't about cooking the wrong type of bunning snags today, are we? So plain old white sandwich slice is the way to go. How easy is this? Nearly as easy as liking this video. Now we get to the condiments or sauces if you please. Now don't go crazy here either. You've been entrusted into a brotherhood or sisterhood or a gender neutral fluid positive individual being of a social gathering entity if that floats your boat. Either way, don't stuff this up by going out and getting some fancy $10 sauce. The Master Foods trifecta is all you're going to need. That is barbecue sauce, mustard, and tomato sauce. No ketchup being used here. Now we get to the hazardous onions, so stay back. Um, further, further again, you should be safe there. These onions are hazardous, and Bunnings have announced these sweet, delicious, caramelized toppings are a threat to our health and safety. Now they may make you cry a little bit, but let's not get all bent out of shape over this. Looks like we can beat an onion. So, do not be afraid of them. To prep, cut the tops off. Now slice in half, leaving the root intact. It's when you trim this off that it starts to bleed and you're gonna cry. Now peel them because the outside bit doesn't taste good. We need sliced onions to so slice away and then put these into a foil tray. Now you might be required to gather some drinks for this event. Usually given some cash and told to go and get a selection of drinks. Don't cheap out and get the no-name stuff. Coke, Solo, Fanta is what you want. Into an esky with some ice is where they go. The punters will thank you later for not being cheap. Now when you've turned up to the sausage chisel, you may not be entrusted with the tongs and you might be delegated the bread. Now, although an easier job than the grill, you still need to focus. You just wanna have one napkin for every piece of bread. Now, don't be like Karen and use two napkins for every snag, cause then you're gonna run out and you're gonna have to send someone to the shops to do another napkin run and your budget's gonna blow out. This is a fundraiser, not a napkin giveaway bonanza. One napkin isn't enough to clean up the grease and the sauce that dribbles down your chin while you're eating the snag. And that's the way it was intended, so deal with it. If when you turn up to your shift at the sausage chisel and they hand you the tongs, you've made it. So do not take this coveted role lightly. All under that marquee are now looking up to you. Now you'll be cooking on a flat top grill and the best heat setting for both the sausages and the onions is a medium. And guaranteed the person before you's probably cranked it right up to high turn it back down. But be prepared, you're gonna get RSI in your wrist because they're just gonna be working overtime throughout the whole shift. You're gonna need a good pair of tongs and a spatula. And also don't forget to give the tongs a double click just to make sure they work before you start using them. Oil the hot plate then, throw on a bunch of snags and onions. And just remember to keep turning the snags so they don't burn. Now it's easy to get carried away and you may feel the need to chat and socialize. Just remember, keep turning those snags. And push the onions around every now and then. Now snags need to reach an internal temp of 74 degrees. Why? Because they are minced meat. And bacteria isn't another food group, so cook them properly. Now, during your shift on the grill, people are gonna start shouting orders at you. Two with onion, one without. 
And do you have any plant-based vegan options? Now, this is the hazardous part. As someone within the Bunnings corporate circle has decided that if onions were on top of the snag, they have a higher chance of falling off and therefore creating a slipping hazard. So they've stated onions are to be applied to the bread first before the snag. Guess what Bunnings, you eat with all of your senses. Firstly, your sense of smell and then your eyes. Then your taste buds and while you take the first glorious mouthful, the nostrils fill up with that scent of whatever is on top. And that should be sweet caramelized onions. Oh, and don't forget, test click the tongs throughout the cook. We are cooking with a medium direct heat today. The average snag will take around about 10 minutes to get to that perfect internal temp of 74 degrees Celsius. Or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a one beer, one beer cook. Now you may be the sorcerer, not like a wizard, he or she that applies the sauce. Easy enough to do, but don't stuff it up. Tomato on its own, mustard and tomato, mustard and barbecue, barbecue and tomato, or the trifecta, give me everything. And don't forget the drink. Surely by now you've subscribed to the channel and while you're there, you might as well hit that bell button. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. That's it, no gimmicks and no trickery. Just good Aussie barbecue techniques handed down generation to generation. Now hopefully you get handed the tongs at your next bunning sausage sizzle. It's a rite of passage. Now just eat your sanger in bread while buying a drop saw you didn't need. Yeah, you know these should be illegal because the onions are on top. How easy was that? Bunning snags made the proper way. As always, cheers for watching.